Hi, welcome back to Physics Teacher, the channel that prepares you for the Waterloo High School Math and Science Contest. In this question, we have a line of all of these hydrogen atoms. And if we know the radius of one, what would the mass be if this line is 10 centimeters long? Give it a try, and I'll be right back with the solution. Okay, so if the radius is 74 picometers, then we can figure out the diameter of any one of these just by multiplying the radius by 2. And that turns out to be 148 picometers. And a picometer, if you don't know, is simply 10 to the minus 12 meters. So I'm going to change this into meters, and it would be 148 times 10 to the minus 12 meters. Now this length is 10 centimeters long, or 0 0.1 meters. So to figure out how many atoms are aligned here, we can simply take that whole length, let's call it L, and divide by the diameter of one hydrogen atom, call that D. So when we do that, we have 0 0.1 meters divided by 1.48. If I move the decimal place over to put it in scientific notation, I just subtract 2 from the exponent. So minus 10. And we get 6.76 .76 times 10 to the 8. All right, so that's how many hydrogen atoms we have. And if we want to figure out the mass of those hydrogen atoms, we first need to figure out how many moles there are. So the number of moles n is going to be equal to the number of those hydrogen atoms divided by Avogadro's number. So when we do this, we have 6.76 times 10 to the 8, all divided by Avogadro's number, 6.76. 0, 0.02 times 10 to the 23 particles per mole. So that's just right per mole. And so that'll give us 1.12 times 10 to the minus 15 moles. So now to figure out the mass of all of these hydrogen atoms, the mass is going to be the number of moles n multiplied by the molar mass. And we can get that from our periodic table. So for h, the molar mass is 1.01 grams per mole. So I take the number of moles, 1.12 times 10 to the minus 15 moles, and multiply that by 1.01 .01 grams per mole. So our moles cancel, and we end up with 1.1 times 10 to the minus 15. So our answer is B.